Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, uh, today is a long-awaited tutorial of how to RNG abuse your trainer ID in the Gen 7 Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and regular Sun and Moon games. This works in both. Um, so the first thing to note is you're going to need Eon Timer. Set the Eon Timer to f target frame 470 and the other two lag and pre-timer to zero. Um, you're going to uh, need 3DS RNG tool and set it to the ID RNG tab. And then you're also going to open up uh, to this, the clock finder in the Gen 7 main RNG tool and click the RN ID RNG box. Um, you're also going to need a camera. You have to record this, so just use your phone and record the top screen. You, you, you have to do it. Um, you can't really eyeball this uh, at all, like you could with the regular clocks. Um, the one thing I will say about this is it's not useful for IDing a fun or cool ID like it may have been in past games because you can't control your initial seed. But what it is useful for is you'll know your uh, TSV without hacking. You'll generate a TSV and you s the game shows you what TSV you will get without hacking. So that's the main use of this, in my opinion. So now just play the intro until you get to the first name screen. Okay, so on the first naming, you don't do anything special. Uh, I usually just type in a one character name. Um, now from here, the second you get to the this screen, hit no. And as you hit no, hit start on Eon Timer at the ex same exact time. Then you're going to type out your name, make it one character, and when Eon Timer ends, you're going to hit A. Now, you're supposed to be keeping track of the timers in the lower, uh, if you look at the lower right hand corner of the top 3DS screen. So you just do this several times in a row, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see the little thing pops up. Typically, I would ask you to keep track of that um, with your eyes, but you can't, it's basically impossible. So record it, you have to record it, and I'm going to cover that in a second. So to reiterate, you're recording this whole thing with your phone, whatever, top screen at 3DS. Every time you hit end, the end should time with the Eon Timer beeps, okay? Um, and right when you get to this screen where he asks if that is your name, you hit B and start Eon Timer at the same time. You're going to be doing this every time with the exception of the first time where he says, oh, so I'll let you spell out your name. You don't have to do it then. And in fact, that clock does not matter but the rest of the clocks all matter a lot. Um, so you're gonna do this, I should say anywhere, um, I say a minimum of 10 times, a minimum of 10 times. And the thing about this is, this is determining your initial seed, but it's also advancing the frames by 10. So um, you have to go to 10 because um, eight could be uh, like a bunch of different uh, choices. So it is a bit tedious, but once you do it, um, you're going to have to open up your recording in a video editing software that can kind of go slow mode. So not, not much is happening on the screen right now, uh, you're just kind of getting the feel of how I'm doing it. Um, the reason you do target frame as 470 is because it's only 7 seconds, it basically gives you just enough time uh, uh, to type out a one character name and then hit no. So here's going to switch to my editing software for a second. Um, so I'm doing this at fast speed, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm going frame by frame to see what my, uh, uh, right, is it's going to slow down here? Boom. There it is. I figured out what it was. And I'm going to line that up in this tool. That's clearly the, that one. And you're just going to do this um, until you figure out exactly what all of them are. Um, it can be hard. You want to do not the frame where it's faded. You want to do the frame where it's it's. Uh, you see, it's too early if it's faded. So, I picked that one. That one ends up actually being incorrect, and I'll show you in a second. Um, it's really hard. Now, to keep in mind here, you don't do the first one where he says so you uh, so spell your name out. It'll load. You don't use that spinner. You only use it after you hit no. This is not my name the first time. That's the first spinner you keep track of, because that was messing me up for a long time. I couldn't figure out why my seed was wrong, um, um, until I figured out that you actually only use it after the first time you hit back on your name. Um, so you keep going for this seed here, um, you keep trying to uh, get the best of uh, which uh, spinner it could possibly be, just line them up as best you can. The pictures are not perfect. Um, and you, you are using the start positions, I should have said. So you are using the start positions, but the pictures aren't perfect. Um, 
See there, I got multiple seeds. That was like my eighth one, probably, if it's the first result. So this one's gonna end here, right there. So I have a straight one there, and I got no result. So now I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, what could that have been? And this is me using a press of elimination to figure out which ones could have been wrong and which ones could have been right. Um, so I have no result here, and I'm going back, and I'm thinking, well, which ones are suspicious? How many do I have here? Um, so I go back to the beginning of my... Uh, uh, Go back to my the beginning of my thing, and uh, as I watch it play back, I figure, okay, this one, as this comes out, that one can only be number two. It's there's no chance. So that one I knew I was suspicious of, and I was like, okay, well there you go. Um, so I knew I was I was always suspicious of that 16 there. So I, I knew, okay, this is fine. Um, I'm gonna change that to a 15 because it could only have been a 16 or a 15. So there you go. Then I have my seed. Uh, 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 and once I get my seed, you just go back. You hit no. You go back to the naming screen. So we're back here. Uh, this is my seed. Uh, and then you're just gonna switch to the other RNG tool. Um, you don't have to copy or nothing. You just switch back to the other tool. It'll automatically update it. Um, and then hit uh, 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 click Gen 7 ID and hit calculate, and it'll tell you what all the IDs are. Now calculate how many um, times you went back and forth, uh, uh, hitting no on your name, and you can see how many frames you'd have advanced. Um, so I, I think I miscount here, but yeah, it's you have to figure out how many frames uh, uh, you advanced past. So I'm thinking I should be, uh, uh, so I'm recording this post, so I'm thinking this should be the one I'm on, but I, I actually am on uh, 1143, so keep that in mind. So here you can type out what you'd want your drain, Gen 7 trainer ID to be. Um, you can put like part of it, like I want three zeros in it, or I want uh, these three specific numbers in it. Um, you could type that out and it'll find IDs with those numbers in it. Um, it's hard though because the only way to advance the frames is to, um, to reject names. So you have to count correctly and then you have to advance several hundred frames like that. That would take a really long time, like a really long time to get anything like that. So the only real reason, in my opinion, to do this ID RNG is if you could find a cool novelty uh, RNG or or you can pick out a specific TSV. If you have an egg that you know the TSV value of, you can hatch an egg with that TSV value. Um, I don't care about that. I just want to know my TSV going into it so you don't have to do any modifications to your game to figure out your TSV. So now you can name it like normal here, no problem, and you just start your game. Um, and then when the game starts, <clears throat> um, you just have to go and get your starter. So uh, I'm going to cut to me getting the starter. I recommend saving right before you get the starter so you can attempt to RNG the starter. That will not be covered in this video. I will do a separate video of that. Although I warn you, I don't know if it's possible to do without NTR custom firmware to RNG the starter, but I'm certainly going to try. Okay, so I've just cut to me getting my starter. Um, I'm going to go into uh, uh, the Pokemon menu to view my starter's trainer ID because this is the earliest you can view your trainer ID. Um, and so I go check my Rowlet, uh, and I saved before I encountered the starter cutscene. Remember that, save. So as you can see, it's 676692. That was the ID I was, uh, that wasn't the ID I thought I was going to get, but what's important is I open it up uh, and look here. 676692, that was the ID after the one I thought I was going to get, but now I know my TSV without hacking. So that's really useful. My TSV is 3071. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, see you guys next video.